What is up guys, it's the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and today I'm back to talk about Warhammer 40k. In today's video, I'm going to be going over how likely it is to have kaiju, or big epic monsters going at it, in the universe of Warhammer 40k. So, the images, the gameplay that you see here, is actually from a very old PS2 game that I used to play pretty much every day after school. It is called War of the Monsters, and it basically pits like Godzilla, King Kong, uh, dinosaurs, dragons, aliens going up against each other. It's very, how do I put it, generic. <laughs> like, uh, there's one, like the one that looks like Godzilla. His name's like Raptora, so obviously they can't say their names. Uh, but I'm going to be playing uh, Mecha Godzilla, essentially, against Kong and a few other kaiju. So check out this old school gameplay while I talk about kaiju in 40k. So kaiju have been around for a long, long time. We've seen them with like the old school black and white King Kong movies, uh, old school black and white like Godzilla movies from Japan. And even up to most recent, Kong vs. Godzilla, which is on HBO Max, give it a look. It's not that great of a movie, but if you're looking to see two big monsters going at it, then it's really good. Uh, so just kind of turn your brain off and watch the senseless violence going on. But we also have some pretty epic stuff with like Pacific Rim, where you've got robots going up against giant monsters. Now, in the universe of 40k, when you think giant monsters, no real faction, you know, comes to mind unless you think of giant insectoids, aka the Tyranids. So Tyranids come in various shapes, sizes, there's different types of uh, tendrils, like you have Leviathan, Gorgon. So the Tyranids come in many different styles, their battle tactics differ, but all in all, they just want to consume and eat any and all biomass out there. Rumor has it that perhaps they're escaping something from outside of the galaxy, or it could just be that they've eaten everything else and the Milky Way is the next thing on their predatory eyes. So whatever theory you believe, Tyranids are here to devour. And because of that, they've like biologically mutated with the biomass that they've ingested to have various sizes, from the tiniest of ripper swarms all the way to the massive gargants. And the gargants are the closest thing we have to kaiju. So these are titan or bigger type of tyranids that are only seen in Forge World. They're expensive point-wise and money-wise because they're such a huge um, model like the amount of resin and plastic going into this is a lot but it's not like these things are indestructible like I said usually when these are on the playing field is because you're playing apocalypse and in these apocalyptic games you have Titans of many different styles available to go up against them so that is easily seen in like the Imperium with like their Warhound class Titans, they got various different ones. So that's probably the most prolific way that we'll see a Kaiju fight in the 40k universe. A Titan against a Gargant, I believe they're called Gargants, I may be wrong, or maybe Leviathans. Uh, but anyway, to, to see a more, I guess, a closer rendition of like kaiju going at each other you could have two different types of tyranids meeting trying to fight each other for like the biomass of a planet two different tendrils of the hive mind going at it to see which one comes out on top to, to further create the strongest evolutionary line of tyranid so that's how you could see two monsters going at it you could have like a swarm lord going up against old one eye to see who would come out on top or we can take a look at the Tau. The Tau have recently created the Taunar Supremacy Battlesuit, which is essentially a big ass mecha. A battlesuit outfitted with either missiles on missiles on missiles 
or very devastating railguns. This is probably the closest thing you'll see to like a Pacific Rim-esque robot or uh, what do they call them, Jaegers in that movie, to go up against a kaiju of sorts. Um, or I believe that the uh, Eldari, their titans are also very, I guess, mecha-like in that it's like a wraith construct and that you can also see fighting against the massive monsters of the Tyranids. After that, everything else kind of gets a little wishy-washy, because like the Necrons don't really have any Titan-type uh, creature as of yet. They've got like pylons, and they got like the Canoptic... Ooh, I forgot what it's called. It's, it's basically like the... I'll show it here. <laughs> Whatever this thing is, that's the closest thing they have to a Titan in 40k and Forge World. Orcs, they've got Gargans, uh, Stampas, but I think when you're really trying to look at a Kaiju in 40k, the Tyranids are the closest thing, at least for a tabletop race. There could be massive monsters lurking on planets that have been cut off by the warp, the, there are demons that are very massive in scope. So, when it comes to 40k, you, anything you can think of is probably available to use in this universe. You just have to kind of look between the lines, or look into Trazian's vaults. Because I'm pretty sure he has some type of kaiju in there. I mean, why wouldn't he? He's a collector of sorts. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about kaiju in 40k. Would you want to see a kaiju type monster or faction be released into this game whether it be like necromunda its own game blackstone fortress etc and that's all i got for today guys and don't forget guys if you want to support us here at one mind syndicate you can always head on over to our patreon page where you guys can pledge just a dollar a month and that will help us out tremendously if you can't i understand just by hitting the like button and subscribing it helps us out a ton so thanks for watching I'm going to leave you with the end of this War of the Monsters video, just for, you know, shits and giggles, I guess. But yeah, that's all I got for today. Thank you for listening, and as always, I've been the Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, and I will be catching you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, <laughs>